Hello, and welcome to the GoCanvas Essentials course. This is the second video in the Customize Your Forms and Data Delivery session. We will be going over how to configure conditions on your fields and screens, popular ways to implement conditions, as well as helpful tips for achieving different outcomes with conditions. The first thing we must establish about conditions is their simplicity in design. When the chosen criteria is met, the condition can only reveal or hide the target object, be it a field or a screen. If this helps, compare them to a choose your own adventure book or think of them as if then statements. Either are helpful analogies to better understand conditions. Additionally, conditions are based on very literal input and must be exact because a condition may not function as expected with even the slightest discrepancy. First, let's cover where to find conditions in the Builder Beta. To add a condition to a field, click the Settings gear for that field to reveal the Settings modal and toggle to the Conditions tab. If you want to add a condition to an entire screen, click the Settings gear in the right corner of the screen itself and toggle to the Conditions tab. The process for setting up a condition is the same regardless of if the condition is on a field or a screen. The simplest condition to add to your form is one that is triggered by a checkbox. A familiar example is one most of you have probably encountered before. When you fill out your address information for an online order, you have probably seen the checkbox that asks if your billing address is different from your shipping address. If the answer is yes, then you are given additional fields to provide those details. If the answer is no, then those fields remain hidden. We will demonstrate setting up this scenario now. First. Add a checkbox field to your form and open up the settings modal for the field or screen that will be hidden or revealed by the checkbox. Hit Add Condition, click the Fields dropdown, and it will prompt you to first choose the screen where the checkbox is located and then the checkbox field itself. Next, choose either equal to or not equal to, and the value is either checked or unchecked. If you wish to reveal a field or screen when the checkbox is checked, the condition and value can either be equal to checked or not equal to unchecked, whichever makes the most sense to you. But we always recommend keeping it as simple as possible to avoid confusion. The second way you can add a condition to your form is by using a value from another field. For example, if you are doing an inspection where you want a photo field to appear only if a previous field is marked damaged, you will need to type the value of damaged into the condition value exactly as it is written in the trigger field. Copying the value from the field and pasting it into the condition value will help mitigate the condition not triggering due to an extra space, difference in capitalization, or typo. When using a value, the rest of the list of conditions are now more applicable. It doesn't make sense to put less than or greater than for a checkbox, but a number can be less than or greater than. Another example, if a supervisor only needs to sign off on a job quote when the quote is over $1,000, you can set up a condition to only trigger a signature when the total field is greater than or equal to $1,000. Or take it one step further and trigger an entire screen after a workflow that will only occur if the total field is greater than or equal to $1,000. One of the handiest conditions is contains. Contains is a condition that can not only be used on a text field if a supervisor needs to know if a certain keyword is used amongst several sentences, but can also be used on multi-choice field types. Circling back to how literal conditions are, if you use the equal to condition on a multi-choice field and choose more than the choice that triggers the condition, it nullifies the condition because the field is no longer only equal to the one value, but that value plus another. Contains allows conditions to be triggered on one choice, even if another choice is selected as well. The final aspect of conditions that we will cover are compound conditions. These are conditions that use and slash or to combine several conditions. Use and if a condition needs to be triggered when more than one criteria are required. Use or if a condition can be triggered by one or another piece of criteria but is not required to have both at the same time. Finally, if you wish to test your condition, click the test button in the upper right corner of the builder. If for some reason your condition doesn't appear to be working properly when you interact with the fields while on the testing screen, but you've double checked your work, 
we recommend publishing your form and testing in the mobile application. This will confirm whether or not the condition is set up properly. Thanks for joining me in the second video of the Customize Your Forms and Data Delivery session. Please join me in the next video on calculations.